On July 2nd, we have a new moon, total solar eclipse in the sign of Cancer. And this particular solar eclipse is going to activate us in a way that we are going to learn how to really truly bring forth our divine feminine energy. It doesn't matter what gender you are. This a particular new moon solar eclipse is really about us understanding the power of vulnerability and teaching us how to activate that side of us, you know, and become more comfortable with our emotions and our emotional expression. This particular solar eclipse really is going to help us to figure out what it is that we truly need, you know, deep inside of us, you know, what do you need to feel fulfilled? You know, what do you need to feel happy? Where are you emotionally? How do you deal and respond to things from an emotional perspective? You know, it's going to help you put an emphasis on what are the matters of your family and your home life and environment? What does that look like? You know, who do you live with and how do you enjoy living with these people? And what is going on within your home that you, you know, enjoy? Or do you need a new home, a new environment? Do you need to experience new feelings and it's going to do that for us it's going to put us on a brand new emotional cycle you know where um some people are going to be having babies being born um some people are going to be getting married and just experiencing a whole new world of emotional bliss or you know some harsh emotional experiences but nevertheless no matter what is happening um it's still here to um, help with your evolution you know and that's what life on earth is all about it's all about evolving no matter what it may look like you know so now this particular solar eclipse is making like an opposition to uranus i mean not uranus excuse me it's making um a sextile to uranus but it's making an opposition to saturn and so it's really important for us to be responsible for our own feelings and stop putting the responsibility of our feelings in the hands of another person. You know, if you want to feel love, you need to be love. If you want to, if you want, you know, someone to tell you that you're beautiful, you need to know what makes you feel beautiful for yourself, you know, not depending upon another person. This solar eclipse will highlight those things that make us feel you know a sense of codependency you know and it will show us okay you're codependent in this area that area financially emotionally or whatever you know even when it comes to work you know are you codependent on your job doing certain things for you or even paying you or are you able to fully fulfill things for yourself Okay, so definitely utilize the energy of this uh, solar eclipse to really truly tune into what it is that you need. And whatever it is that you need in the world, give it to yourself first. And then the you will build up a certain magnetism of whatever that may be that you will start to draw that into yourself and draw that into your life. And that's what the divine feminine energy is all about. It's about sitting and being present and attracting and drawing things in rather than being domineering and dominating and forceful, you know. So um, I, I just feel that this is a very beautiful time because, I mean, we are also in a 12,000 year procession of the sign of cancer. And so this solar eclipse is activating that that much more now another thing with this particular eclipse is that um, it's making a beautiful trine to um, Neptune so we are definitely able to easily manifest our dreams and activate our mat metaphysical minds and create the realities that we desire if we are you know adhering to our true needs and fulfilling them for ourselves first so you want to use this energy for your benefit and you also want to express compassion and empathy to yourself as well as others to get the most out of this particular solar eclipse so i mean so much bliss to be experienced with this um energy overall you know with the the solar eclipse you know I mean, there's just so many things happening with it. And another major thing that I like about this is that 
it's going to allow us to look at our past in a new way and to make amends with our past, you know, and just kind of like overlook certain patterns patterns in our life and you know overlook certain experience that we have had that have affected us um emotionally and just take a whole new face to it you know a whole new perspective of it you know something could have upset you in the past you know um and you could be in a relationship or some type of a circumstance that could be similar to things that you may have experienced in the past and now with you evolving you have another perspective perception of that particular matter so this is you know divine this is beautiful and another thing is that you know you could have hurt people in your past and you could be seeking out a certain level of remorse but it's really important to forgive yourself and understand that you're just a human being learning and growing throughout life and you're going to make mistakes along your journey and don't so much seek out forgiveness from the other person if they are not receptive or they may have moved on but learn to forgive yourself and um, the best apology is changed behavior learn from that experience and, and you know don't repeat those different cycles and that's what this um solar eclipse really is about you know it's it's about having a new perception of things that may have happened and taking things in a whole nother way you know um and just healing emotionally from a deeper a much deeper sense you know eclipses are very magnificent for major major breakthroughs and may this be a breakthrough from deep within you you know may this be a, a breakthrough that allows you to totally rewrite your past in a way that you're moving forward into the future more whole and more healthy and a, another thing you know Understand when you think about the sign cancer, you definitely got to think about the circle and things coming full circle because of the feminine energy and the feminine energy is the circle. So you want to think about the things that make you feel complete, you know, make things come full circle for you. And um, whatever it is, go out there and, and pour it into yourself. If you're very, you know, say masculine in your nature, activate the divine feminine. If you are very feminine you know in your expression activate the divine masculine and become full become complete because you got to understand we are nothing but electromagnetic beings and we magnetize our realities to us anything that is happening on the outside world is a reflection of what's going on on the inside and you can change the outside world by you know recalibrating what's going on within so take this opportunity with this moon to activate that that side of yourself and recognize yourself as a magnetic being you know and if if you aren't pleasant with the things that are happening, go inside of yourself and recalibrate your magnetism. And understand this, you know, solar eclipse is in the sign of cancer, which deals with the emotions and it's going to have us looking at emotions in a whole nother way and family in a whole nother way. But really, when it comes to emotions, you want to understand that emotions is energy in motion. And we know that we are electromagnetic beings and we know that energy energy creates our reality, but those emotions really drive things in. So if you have toxic emotions, if you are chaotic emotionally, you're going to draw, draw those things into your life. But if you are more sound with your emotions and your emotional expression, you're going to draw those things into you, you know, um, faster. Whatever your emotion is, it's, it's the energy that's in motion and it's going to really draw upon things for you. So nevertheless, you guys, I'm dressed for this moon, all super feminine and girly and the whole nine and I'm just going to take myself out and enjoy the beautiful you know weather that we are having here right now in New York I'm still in New York I'll be back in Cali at the end of the week but I definitely wanted to get on and still share about this uh, total solar eclipse um, I'm really really blissed and excited about it and enjoy your family spend as much time with your family recognize what family means to you and be that family member that you always have wanted whatever you want from your family you become that whatever you want from your partner you become that you know to yourself and and watch things shift and change um and improve for your great desires so to be made manifest so nevertheless you guys if you want you know more of an understanding of how this eclipse is going to affect you 
or you are just interested in you know getting a reading definitely reach out to me you can email me kateria.no at gmail.com you know hit me up on social media i would love to speak to you all peace in divine light